Welcome to another episode of me fucking with my hair. So, I was just laying in bed looking at my hair and decided I am bored with it. So, I rolled out of my bed, hopped into my car, drove to Sally's salon, picked up two hair dyes, went to my personal hair salon, my bathroom. These are the two hair dyes I got and of course I got to pose for the thumbnail and it's so hot in this bathroom. So, first we got to make sure I got no knots in my hair. So, we're just going to quickly brush through it. And as always, I have no idea what I'm doing. As you can see, I can't even open up this box. Ah, there we go. I got it now. It's all good. I got it. I got it. I'm not dumb. And of course, instead of reading the instructions like a normal person, I'm going to use it as a hand fan. All right, now I'm going to read it because I really got to know what the fuck I'm about to do to my hair. Just kidding. I don't read. This is a fan now. All right, but in all seriousness, I really need to know if this is going to fry off my hair because I kind of don't want that. The instructions say to use the pre-dye thing to protect your hair, but eh, I don't need it. I don't need it. My hair isn't that dry anyways. So we got the developer and the colorant. And oh boy, does that smell so bad. It smells like chemicals and bleach. Why must I get it all over the lid? Like why? And why is it so hot in here? And of course now I'm going to struggle to put my hair into a ponytail. There, finally. And now we mix. The instructions say to mix well, but it doesn't specify for how long, so I don't know. I think it's done now. I don't know. So now we got to do this all over again, but with the red one. So we got the developer and the colorant. And now we combine them together. And we mix them well, but I don't know for how long. So let's just have a dance party and go crazy while we're at it. Woohoo! We're going crazy! Alright, after that, I'm pretty sure it's mixed, but I don't know because it doesn't specify. Now I come to the realization that this kit doesn't provide gloves, but that's okay because I got my own that I can struggle with. Can I ever put a glove on like a normal person? No, but let's get let's get to dyeing all right so the first step of dyeing your hair is to struggle with putting your hair up as always you just struggle okay i think it's gonna hold now let's cut off the tip and the other one too and don't worry struggling to cut off the tip is part of the process finally got it good job all right, so now we're gonna start dyeing with the black. Just gonna rub it right into my hair. First, going back and forth with the red with each strand, alternating one black, one red. But that wasn't really working, so then I just ended up just doing this. Uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. This, I know... This is not the right way to dye your hair, but I proceeded to do it anyway, so I was just rubbing into black into random spots, and believe it or not, it didn't turn out horrible, so this kind of worked. Alright, so now that I finished dyeing, I'm gonna leave it in for, I don't know, for however long, like 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna take a shower and wash it out. Finished showering, and now I'm just drying off my hair. I liked how my hair turned out, but I realized I missed some spots, so I had to touch up everything that I missed. But after that, everything was fine, and this is how my hair turned out looking. In the sun, you can see the red more, and it looks like highlights. 